So here's a, um, here's a strange thing um, while working on my more folky sounding album um, I started messing around with um, <clears throat> a few other ideas uh, my, my intention was not to uh, include these themes or these ideas in the uh, in the album that I'm working on but what interestingly enough what's happened is that I now have another half a dozen ideas which have a different feel and they're far more um, geared towards being applied to the um, Eloy album they, they just have that feel and it is, it is a strange thing it really is um, partly <clears throat> it, this has come about by me um, just noodling around with um, one of my guitars which I will show you so um, this guitar let me just pop that down a little bit right <clears throat> so um, this is a, a lovely guitar and um, it is B and G uh, but it's tuned to open G and of course when you retune a guitar you, you you can't hit the chords that you would just automatically go to and I, I've I've got um, three different tunings on three different guitars that I can just pick up at any point and m uh, make up chords essentially that's what I've always done I just make up chords half the time I don't even know uh, although over the years that's not true I do know all the basic chords now because I've played them for so 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 long and they're slightly they might be inverted versions or they might be slightly different versions um, of standard chords but I um, I'm not bothered about what the names are because I don't read or write music. Um, it just has to, as long as I have a good enough ear, I can create stuff. So anyway, this guitar is tuned to G. And um, not knowing any chords, you end up trying to work out how to, to play a shape that, that sounds right. And... Um, so that's what I did with this one, with this guitar, uh, and it's actually got, it's the only guitar I have that's got P90s, and I have to say, I've, I've fallen in love with the, with the P90 sound, with the, that sort of warm, driven sound, which can have a harsh edge. Um, it just sounds fantastic, um, just as it's breaking up. Got, got a real... And I don't, I'm, I'm not into blues, but it's got a real sort of rich, bluesy flavour to it. It's, it's, um, it feels um, uncomplicated, but actually, it, it probably is quite complicated sound. You know, when you when you actually break up and saturate a sound, you get all these extra little harmonics that, that just make it so much more of an interesting sound uh, in many ways. Um, and so yes, I, I've I've been mucking around with shapes and found some shapes that really did um, work well up and up and down the the fretboard. Um, and so what's happened with that is that that's especially with this slightly driven sound, bluesy sound, that's allowed me to write a few ideas and put them down on Logic. And I now have some more ideas which are, as I say, shifted away from the sort of more folky focus of um, the album I'm working on at the moment. And I think what I'm going to do is hold these off for the next album, which I already had 12 tracks. So I've got probably 18 tracks too many for an album and it may be that some will collide and become one tr one track there are a few flavor few um, sort of flavors that are 
um, ideas that are kind of I think are, are quite similar that could be worked in if, if they if they don't that's fine but um, yeah that's really really interesting I don't know where that's come from um, I guess it's come from just the inspiration of uh, playing a guitar that's tuned differently I suppose but the fact that I'm now using um, a more I'm working on a more f a fuller um, drum kit and drum pattern and also um, I'm using a few more keyboards in the sound which are um, I don't want necessary normal sounds I'm either using a, a stock sound with no reverb so it's right in your face but very dry if it's sitting down in the mix or slightly more ethereal odd sounds um, which are not necessarily pleasant um, but actually I think that's why I feel like it ties in with the, the whole Eloy album because that actually is a um, it deals with sort of unpleasant themes and odd um, trickster type sonics it's uh, you know look behind you type of stuff there is a sort of slight fearfulness about it and a, and a sort of broken societal feel to it so and I think the yeah these these ideas yeah I'm really really I'm pretty pumped up with those so anyway um, this was just a, another one of those little babbles um, to say wow I'm quite pleased with those um, I won't put anything up at the moment um, I need to make sense of them I think I they need to make a little bit more sense as a as a song at the moment they're just sort of swapping patterns and uh, they, they don't work well from that point of view I need I need them to be able to flow um, uh, from beginning to end so that, so that it feels like it could be a proper track and that I could add a vocal to it um, but there you go um, I'm pleased with those and um, we'll uh, we'll talk soon you have a good day